When we talk about Virginia Henderson's nursing need theory, it starts out with some very basic assumptions that grow as the theory kind of progresses. And the basic assumptions include that the nurse will care for the patient until they can do so for themselves. That might include things like providing oxygen for them until they're able to breathe adequately or providing artificial nutrition until they can eat. Maybe it's something as simple as helping them walk down the hall with a gait belt until they regain their strength. The second assumption is that the nurse will be willing to help the patient. It is assumed that people go into nursing who want to help and want to see their patients improve. And so the theory doesn't work unless the nurse is willing to help the patient. The third assumption is that the nurse will be educated in sciences and arts. So the nurse is going to not only know what they're doing as far as anatomy, physiology, their nursing skills, the science part of it, but also in the arts that they will understand the different nursing theories that they might be able to think outside the box a little bit and be creative and find new ways to help the help the patient improve and, and reach that goal of independence. The fourth assumption is that achieving good health is a challenge. Um, we talk about holistic nursing care quite frequently throughout nursing school. Uh, we don't only want the patient to be physically healthy, but we want them to be emotionally healthy, spiritually healthy, and a lot of the self-care requirements that are cited in the nursing need theory include more than just the physical health of the patient. The fifth assumption is that nurses should be able to make good judgment calls while caring for the patient. The nursing need theory assumes that while the nurse can't provide um, prescriptions for medications or make a medical diagnosis, they should be able to evaluate and see how much help the patient needs with feeding themselves or how much help they need on the way to the bathroom or you know how much oxygen they might need that they might be able to report that to the physician and that they'll have enough knowledge and enough good judgment to make a good decision.